<laughs> Let's get that straightened up. Okay, guys. So, as you guys seen, yesterday we put together my daughter's first PC. She's always owned laptops, tablets, things like that. She's never owned PC. So, oh, what did I do there? Huh? There we go. Um, so, hey, nature came. Okay, hey, how you doing, bud? So, gosh, we are learning so much. Now, she chose to go with an Intel i5 12th gen um, chip, which I love her case. She went with a micro X, uh, um, ATX case. It looks really, really good. Probably the best case I've ever seen. Um, made me think, should I go micro? But then again, I looked at some of the motherboards and didn't. Um, let's see. I haven't seen the second stream yet. Did you get the? Yeah, we did, Brandon. We did get the. We we did get the. Uh, it ended up being something that Giuliano saw <laughs> hours earlier, <laughs> and basically, I think it was the power switch on the front that wasn't wired right, and that's what ended up happening. Um, so, uh, yeah, we uh, we did good. Hey, Connery. So. I wanted to share some of the things that I've learned. I mean, because you guys know I want to get me a new PC because this is this particular PC that I've got right now. <laughs> okay, you guys are going to really, really, really laugh, but it's very, very old. And um, it's 12 years old. And um, I want you to know when I built it, it was it's really a very good. And, and I, I build um, computers for content creating which is different from gaming, all right? I wanted cores, you know? So a core is basically something, it's like multitasking, um, the ability for the CPU to do more than one thing. So when I built this, it's a Xeon processors. It's a dual Xeon processors, W3670s, 3.2 gigahertz, all right? And they have six cores each and um, 12 threads. So, um, and uh, only 12 gigabytes of memory in this particular computer. Now, I know, I know, you guys are probably laughing at the moment. Let me make that go away. And uh, so uh, when I built it though, I needed cores. So I also got um, a GTX 1066 gigabyte, which was an affordable card. It what well, you couldn't um, stack them but it had 1,250, I think, CUDA cores in it. So with all these cores, it allowed me to do what I wanted to do. And it's done very, very well. I've owned it for a decade. It's been fantastic. But now my heart, my motherboard is starting to show its sign of age by losing a few of its uh, uh, functions. And uh, so nothing lasts forever. It's lasted extremely well. And I want to build another 10-year computer, something that I won't have to upgrade for the next 10 years. Although I see the GPU being upgraded because what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the 1066 gig out of here, which is, you know, this, well, what's in my eye? What's in my eye? Oh, something's in my eye. I hurt my back, so I didn't go fishing today. So 66 gig. Now this particular, yeah, I think it's called the Founders Edition or something like that. Um, it's a, a very, I got it from NVIDIA, um, directly and, uh, it's, uh, it's called the founder's edition or something like that. It's a really handsome, good looking card and it's done extremely well. In fact, uh, here it is, uh, turbo edition. It's called the turbo edition, the NVIDIA GTX 1066 gigabyte. So, you can get them for a hundred bucks uh, online nowadays. So, but it's done very, very well. And I've been, um, I'm going to use it in the new system. And I'm going to, uh, that'll be my, my GPU, at least for the moment. Now, cores are still very important for creators. Uh, when you look online, everything's gaming, gaming, gaming. And gaming is also can be used for creating, but it's different. Gaming is very GPU heavy. 
and um, creating is not. So when I create, um, I do 3D, I do animation, I do um, After Effects. I love After Effects. Uh, Premiere Pro sometimes, although I use uh, a Magix um, a Movie Edit Pro is my preferred station, but I also bounce between that, DaVinci, and another one. All depends on the type of effect I want. I may create the effect on it, overlay it, yeah, export it, and then put it back into it, into uh, my Magix program. So uh, Magix is my preferred editing program. So again, I need, I need cores. So I'm going, AMD has come a long way and I need speed. <laughs> okay. So what am I, what am I looking at nowadays? Well, I'm looking at um, an AMD Ryzen 7 because I can't afford a nine. <laughs> so this is a budget computer. This computer is going to come in at about $600. All right. $600. That's it. So um, for 600 bucks, I will create a, uh, a, a, an extremely fast content creating computer. So it'll be a Ryzen 7. Uh, I think a 5800X because it's actually come down in price. It's only $11 more than the 5700G, which is an APU, all in one processing unit. Um, so we're going to... It's only $11 difference. I don't really need the graphics, uh, integrated graphics, uh, because I have a GPU. And so if you don't have a GPU, then you don't need a GPU if you got the 5700G. That's it. That'll keep you at 600 bucks. Since I have a GPU already, I'm still staying at $600. So, and the GPU all in one, the 5700G has the graphics built, graphics card on, you know, built into it. The drawback to it is that M.2 memory or storage, uh, it's a solid state device. It's, I have one in this one. It looks like a SIM card, you know, it's just that big and it mounts right onto the motherboard. Uh, the 5700G only supports Gen 3. Well, Generation 4 is out and it's twice as fast in reading and writing than the Gen 3. So for 11 bucks more, I can go to um, a better processor that is able to read and write off of my storage drive faster, twice as fast as the, uh, the 5700G. Now, it's blazing fast already, all right? It's just blazing fast already. So I will be putting a one terabyte, uh, which or two terabyte, I'll put a two terabyte on... Uh, M.2 on this motherboard, that'll cost a hundred dollars. The um, the processor, the CPU is is one hundred and ninety dollars, rounded one ninety. It's on sale right now. And then the motherboard, I don't know what the motherboard costs. I forgot what the motherboard costs. Let's see what the motherboard costs because I can't really show you this because uh, ah ah. Budget computer. It was my budget computer. Um, the uh, motherboard uh, is a, a B550, um, and uh, it's only running $159. So um, it actually, so I mean, just between the motherboard and the CPU, you're already over $300. You're about almost $193, $160. Yeah. Yeah. Here's, 350 bucks right there. Um, and then with the, um, if you do two terabytes of uh, M.2, you could do one terabyte. It's only 50 bucks. Nine, you know, 100 bucks for a two terabyte. Um, now your motherboard can fit two of them. I already have one here. So I really want two. I want one for my operating system, one for, you know, this extra storage I already have, which is a lot of my old files uh, that I could put on this computer. Um, so really, that's the bulk of it. Now, nice thing, too, about the 5700G, it does come with a Wraith um, CPU cooler. Now, it that's a good cooler. It's just not a great cooler. I can cool this thing down so much better with a Thermal Right Assassin uh, Twin Tower. And 
uh, it's only $45. So um, that allows me to overclock it. Overclocking allows me to run this uh, processor at a faster gigahertz. And uh, without damaging it, I can keep it within a, 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 a working tolerance of, um, of, uh, um, of temperature with a better heat sink. And that's what we're going to do. So I haven't figured out the case. I got sub $100 cases with fans. I like lights. So we're going to put ARG lights in it. I, um, I really don't know. I was like, I'm like vacillating between three cases right now ah, and a power supply you know if you get a 650 watt uh 80 plus gold it's 55 bucks uh by a, a pvia um and then a set 32 gigabytes of memory now for gaming you only need 16 but for content creating we need a little bit more than that so we'll be doing 32 gigabytes of ddr4 um 3200 megahertz um memory in it and uh and 3200 is plenty fast um uh, for it so that only costs 72 bucks for the two sticks and uh, uh you know this is the whole thing will run about 600 dollars. the whole the whole computer and it's uh in the end it's going to work really really well so much better i mean i know this is this is it's pretty archaic what I got right here. And it's pretty archaic. But like I said, for the last decade, it's worked really, really well. And I think if you build a computer for the future and do it wisely, you won't have to second guess yourself. So now we know that M.2s are about to come out with the Gen 6. Well, nothing I can do about that. So Gen 5 is as good as I can do. And at a 6,000 you know, gigabytes per second or whatever it is. It's ridiculous amount of transfer speed um, on the M.2 Gen 4s. Uh, it's going to be plenty. <laughs> it's going to be. And in fact, software might not even be able to, to uh, keep up with it. So software will have to evolve to keep up with some of these progresses of um, read and write speeds. So I do have a Gen 3 in here right now. And uh, we'll put a Gen 4 in the new motherboard with the 5800X. Um, that has six cores, or eight cores, 16 threads. And what all that means is that it allows a processor to multitask. It allows it to do, you know, different lanes of a highway. You know, you can almost look at it like that. I mean, it, what is it over in the Ventura Freeway in Ventura, um, California? It's got, you know, a dozen lanes. I know. It's awesome. And we're cooking. <laughs> All right. Everybody's going 80, 90 miles an hour. I mean, it's almost like the Audubon down there. And so that's what that's what uh, cores are. They're highways, you know, and it just allows traffic to go faster. And uh, the processor just works better. And when a lot of people think, OK, well, do I need a six core? No, not for gaming. You don't. Because Gaming is not a CPU-oriented thing. It's a GPU, you know, the, 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 the graphics card. So it just, you don't need it, you know, for those, for gaming. Uh, you real, It's very GPU-heavy, where content creating and you're working with uh, uh, different types of um, 3D software like Blender or DAZ or... Uh, uh, there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them out there. And uh, after, you know, Adobe, unfortunately, is just not a, I, I love After Effects. I think it's my favorite program out of all of them. But uh, they, Adobe really needs to get their act together to sync themselves up with the technology that's out there. Because they really don't do very well at syncing themselves up with the um, technology that's out there. So, you know, they will. Eventually, they will. But uh, in the meantime, with what I do use, and it will make a big difference anyway, it just would make a bigger difference if Adobe would team up with AMD or Intel and say, okay, boom, you know, let's, let's fit that together. Because things like DaVinci, DaVinci is another editing software that's free on the market, and it's a great editor. Uh, they, they, they're in line with um, Intel. 
So if you were to get an Intel 9, 12th or 13th gen, it would work much better, all right, than an AMD um, 9, a Ryzen 9. Uh, it just will because they talk to each other and they actually, um, they mesh better. Where AMD and um, DaVinci, they just don't. They haven't. So it works. It just doesn't work as well um, as an Intel processor. So I, I like a lot of the advantage and the future growth with AMD. Now, AMD, when you buy an AMD motherboard, you can actually put new AMD chips on it. Can't do that with a lot of Intel boards. And you buy that board for that chip, and that's the end of it. You're not going to be able to, to upgrade that chip um, on that board. You have to buy both of them in a lot of cases. That's the truth. So it'll be interesting as we go into this. Um, I've still got to figure out, the, you know, the revenue for this. But I think $700 or $600 uh, in that range, that $600 range is a, a very fair amount to um, put aside. I know it sounds really low for a lot of you guys, maybe. You think maybe a really good editing machine would cost, you know, a thousand or two thousand dollars. And if I was to design the perfect one, it'd be twenty five hundred bucks. Really, I mean, it would be maybe even three thousand because I'd get a new monitor, and the monitor would run quite a bit of money. Um, this monitor, seventeen years old. <laughs> It's just 17 years old. I bought, my wife and I bought this and we put it in our retail store back in 2005. It's 18 years old, almost. Um, yeah, it's probably 720p, 10, 1080p. I don't know. It's, it ain't much, that's for sure. But uh, it is an LCD. Yeah, it's an LCD. I know. I don't know. But it works fine. I mean. It can look, I can make my video, you know, imagery in front of me look so much better. But do I need it? No, I don't really need it. Now, with a new computer, and, you know, in the future, there'll be a new GPU in it. Because that GPU, this GPU will not last forever. Uh, so we'll probably end up having a 12 gigabyte or whatever GPU built, to, you know, put in it. And then with that, a new monitor in the future. And, and, and that'll happen. Um, I'm sure of it because this will break 17 years old. This, this monitor, I mean, it's not going to last forever. Neither will that GPU. Uh, this motherboard is starting to fail. So it's like, we're, uh, you know, we're getting there. Um, but if you watch the video yesterday, is there, are you guys even talking? Oh, got it. I guess. Um, I don't know. Yeah, no, you're not talking. Probably nobody even watching. There's two people watching. Hit the thumbs up. Um, that's uh anyway, that's what uh that's what we're working on right now. Um so hopefully, you know, my anniversary is next next week, actually. Yes, it's on Pi Day, 314. I got married. We got married before they called it Pi Day. I know we predate math. <laughs> <laughs> That's how old I am. 36 years next week um, is how long we've been married. 36 years. Uh, that may sound like a long time, and it probably is. But it really it really goes by really quick. And we waited 13 years to have children. So our kids are young, and that kind of makes it feel like we're not that, we haven't been married that long, because children are a living timeline. So uh, my oldest daughter is the one we built the computer for yesterday. And uh, it worked. It's, I mean, it's just fantastic. Uh, it's, she's got an SSD set of hard drive on it. Um, now, that's about 10 times faster than a mechanical uh, drive. Now, if that's 10, that's 10 times faster, well, you then quintuple that speed. All right. Uh, you know, actually, more than that, because it's a 560. Per second, and the other one's about 6,000. So 10 times, 10 times faster uh, read and write on an NVMe M.2 drive than what hers is, and hers is fast. So you can only imagine 
Uh, in the end, it's going to have a lot of lights. It's going to be really cool looking. But in the end, uh, my new computer uh, will have uh, just an amazing amount of speed, probably more than I need for the moment, um, because my monitor is only a 1080p, and I don't game. Um, there's not a game on this unless, you know, you go to Solitaire, and I think I've got games in Solitaire. Let's see, Microsoft. I've never played them. Yeah, I have I have games in here. I got Solitaire. Right there. Solitaire and casual games. Right there. Um, see, there it is. See, I'm a gamer. Um, <laughs> that's so sad. <laughs> it's so sad. I got I to gotta look it up for, you know, solitaire. <laughs> All right. Well, that kind of shows you what kind of computer I'm really shooting for. Because it's definitely not gaming. <laughs> not on this. I mean, I use my tablet for games. I mean, if I play games, it's definitely on the tablet. It's not on my computer. This computer, as you guys know, we I do, you know, the live streams on them. I do, uh, let me show you something. I mean, this is, let me see if I can get this down. All right, so, all right, so that, oh. <laughs> that's my computer right down there. <laughs> all right, it's a full tower. It's a great tower. It just won't fit my new motherboard. Um, it just won't fit my new motherboard. So we have to uh, get my little tripod going. There we go. It won't fit the new motherboard, so we'll have to get a whole new tower. Um, but that's really old. I mean, if you uh, uh, if you actually look at, uh, you know, you could get, like I said, Xeon processors are still a fantastic uh, workstation processor. Um, but I wanted to get something with more future proofing. And so going with an AMD is just seems smarter at the moment to go into, say, you know, buying another 10 year computer. And uh, <clears throat> this poor thing, it really, well, it's admirable. HP can make a very long lasting, very good product. Uh, and this is a workstation. So, I mean, there's the, the, the Intel uh, uh, Xeon processors really are fantastic. I mean, uh, my benchmarks on them <laughs> is kind of pitiful. Um, the, uh, the, it'll be interesting if I do a Cinebench. I'll do a Cinebench on it right now. Now, uh, the uh, I think I, I already did a Senate bench, so it should be in the memory here. Now, it it calculates, it, it runs a, a series of graphics and things like that in order to come up with an overall rating. And my, okay, so my Xeon processors had, my multi-core rating is 2413. And if I go, when I go to, uh, thread rippers are just stupid crazy. Um, but uh, if I go to a Ryzen 7, uh, uh, that's still way low. That's only 1700X. It doesn't have uh, my new one. But, you know, Ryzen 7, 1700X, not a 5800X. There's a big difference between the two, though. I don't know. Let's see. Just the 1700X is 8889. That's so that's four times better. Uh, the 5800X so much better. Now there is uh, again Xeon processors do really 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 well. So if I upgraded my new computer to a new Xeon processor, 
3265, uh, that moves me from 2,000 to over 24,000. I know it. That is crazy. It actually does better than a thread AMD Ryzen Threadripper um, that's listed here by quite a bit. So it's a, uh, you can, in single core, let's look at the single core number. My single core, uh, did I not run a single core? I did, I did not run my single core. I think it was, you know, like 200. Uh, I think I did run it. And a Ryzen 7, um, really old gen, is 959. So again, four or five times. It's much, much better. So um, let, me see what, let me see what my Cinebench is online. I'm sure I can find it. Uh, Cinebench. Ryzen uh, 7. 5800X. Let's see what the uh, Cinebench number is for this. So remember, mine was 2400. And uh, yes. Let's see, Cinebench. Come on. That single core, come on, Mike. <coughs> oh, God, I hate sneezing when your back is out. You never want to sneeze when your back is out. It hurts. All right, come on. Where are you? <sighs> Don't sneeze. All right, come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, got it. Ay, 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 this thing. I'm trying to find it. Here it is. That can't be right. That can't be right. Oh, that single core. <laughs> okay, my single core was 200. This is 1600. So big, 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 big difference there. I mean, I mean, that's the difference in processing, uh, you know, capabilities between the two. Um, just a big, big difference. That's single core. So, all right. Man, it didn't right, seem right for multi-core. So, what a, I mean, it's going to be a huge improvement. Huge improvement. Um, when I go to um, the Ryzen 7. So, um, but anyway, that's... Uh, what we got? I started a new playlist. Terrible at technology. <laughs> Sorry, this will be that on live. And uh, so terrible at technology. And um, next week is my anniversary, which will be on Tuesday. Uh, it's pie day, so I got pies coming. Um, got to have pies on pie day, right? I'm sure, there's got to be a sale someplace, right? And. Uh, um, for us, it's a big, big deal, you know, because we don't celebrate Christmas. So this is sort of our um, big gift giving day is our anniversary. And especially for the kids, because, I mean, without our marriage, they wouldn't have been born. So um, so it's a big, big deal. It's a big deal. Kids get gifts. We get gifts. Everybody gets gifts uh, next week. So it'll be fun. Uh, my son already bought me mine, gave me mine early because it's my Clam auger drill adapter. You know, I showed it to you. Bam. Awesome gift. So, but uh, that's just, uh, 
let's see what happens next week. And then uh, um, hopefully my back gets better and get out there fishing Wednesday, maybe. I don't know. It's snowing like crazy. I'm, oh, I'm not right now. It has been. It's been crazy snowing outside. And it's supposed to snow all week long. So, um, I mean, even if I get out to the lake, I'm going to have to dig down three feet to find the ice. <laughs> It's going to be crazy. Uh, but it'll be, you know, what you do. We had a couple guys out there on the lake today. So, and they were in a good spot for um, German Browns and uh, 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 Smallmouth. They were in a good spot for that, too. So, I don't know what they caught because I didn't talk to them when they came off the ice. But, uh, anyway, it's been, it's good. Things are going okay, I guess, except for my health. Uh, that's no good. My health sucks. I hate my health. Breathing's terrible. Back's terrible. Knees are terrible. Blah, blah. I'm old. I'm so, I, I, I walk like an old man. If you if you have never seen Tim Conway as the oldest man in the world, shuffles his feet. That's me. I am now Tim Conway. For those who used to who have seen that. Um. But yeah, we'll get to painting some more uh, this week and uh, having a good time there. And so you will see more lives. And I have, I'm working on my wife's gift that just takes a lot of work. Uh, and uh, so we'll see, you know, as I finish that up this week, because um, I want to finish it up this week and have it ready for next week. Because, you know, I work Friday, Saturday, I'll be at the resort Monday because my son works and then. Tuesday's our anniversary, so it's got to be done this week. So, but that is, that's about it. That's about it here. Um, like I said, I mean, it's not snowing at the moment. It's been snowing a lot. And then we're going to get, you know, a lot of snow this week, which means digging down to the lake. So, anyway, I want to thank you guys. Popping in, thumbs up. And um, and hopefully, you know, with some of the things I've told you to help you, if you're thinking about a new computer, um, we're going, I'll do another broadcast uh, before I start building the computer. I first got to buy it, figure that out. I'll figure it out. And um, we'll uh, uh, get to buying it. And when the pieces come in, we'll talk about each piece and why I, why I bought that. And uh, like I said, the case is, as long as it, it, cool, it has good airflow, I want it to look cool, though. I just want it to look cool. So good, good airflow and looks cool. Pretty lights. We want pretty lights. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, thanks, guys. We'll see you guys probably in the studio here, you know, over behind me there. And, uh, you know, painting some more baits. We'll paint more baits. So take care, everybody.